He hugs her by the shoulders. Handsome, dark-haired guy in the same wreath. So many years have passed, and Lily's heart still skips a beat when she sees this photo. She had already been working at the cafe by the road for about a year when she met Jack. Them. On a summer morning, the cafe was surprisingly crowded. Lily rushed around the hall with a tray, serving impatient customers. Suddenly, the girl stumbled on level ground place and knocked over a glass of tomato juice on a guy sitting at a table by the window. By light, a bright red stain slowly spread across his shirt. Lily was speechless with horror. It's immediately obvious that the shirt is expensive. Before she had time to come to her senses, how the owner of the cafe instantly appeared near the table. Stas started fussing around the guy and yelling at the poor waitress, threatening dismissal. Well, why bother so much? Grinned the guy handed Lily the car keys. Do not worry, I'm going to my parents' dacha. I have a clean t-shirt in my car. Could you get me the backpack from the back seat? I'll bring it myself, Jack. Helpful Stas snatched the keys from Lily. Otherwise this chicken something will break in your car too. Left alone with the client, the frightened girl was finally able to apologize. Excuse me, please. This is the first time this has happened to me. Honestly, and I will compensate for the damage. Calm down. What damage there? Nothing scary, girl. By the way, what is your name? Lily. And I'm Jack. He extended his hand to her. Timidly shaking the stranger's hand in response, Lily dared to look for the first time in his face. Attractive guy. High. Sports. Gray, slightly mocking eyes. A slight charming smile. The owner brought the client a backpack and offered to take him to a place where he could clean up. Passing by Lily, Stas sarcastically asked, Why are we standing? Is your shift over yet? She was receiving money from a loving couple when she heard a cheerful voice from behind. Lily, could you give me a moment of attention? She turned around. Jack, wearing a fresh blue t-shirt, was sitting at the same table. Will you accept the order? Of course. While serving a handsome visitor, the girl felt awkward. His cheeks were on fire. Stas personally escorted the guy to the door. Then he winked at Lily. No offense. I was yelling at you on purpose, and then suddenly he would force you by the shirt to pay. It's more expensive than your salary. How do you know this guy? This is Jack Adamson, our mayor's son. Every dog in the city knows him. By the evening, Lily was so tired from hours of fuss that she forgot to think about the morning incident. She had one desire, to quickly get home and fall into bed. It was already dark outside. It is unknown how long you will have to wait for the bus. Suddenly, a light-colored foreign car pulled up to the cafe. Lily involuntarily retreated to the porch, but looking closer, she recognized the car. I wonder what the mayor's son forgot here. Jack jumped out of the car and took a large bouquet and headed straight to Lily. Coming close to the amazed girl, he put flowers in her hands. Already finished work? Sorry, I didn't know what kind of bouquets you liked. So I may do with banal white roses. I promise that later I will give only your favorite flowers. Then? Completely lost waitress? Why? Why? Jack laughed. I'm looking after you. By the way, this is a wonderful evening. Maybe we can go somewhere? Lily had already forgotten that she desperately wanted to sleep. Everything that was happening now seemed like a magical dream. The girl suddenly realized that she was ready to go anywhere with this guy, but fortunately she remembered in time about her unpresentable appearance. Old jeans, a simple t-shirt, God knows what on my head. Thank you, but I'm terribly tired. Not today I can, Lily said with regret. Tomorrow then? Jack didn't back down. Then tomorrow? The girl echoed. The next day they met, so as not to break up. It was love at first sight. Jack, student of the Faculty of Economics, successfully passed the summer session, and the couple began to see each other every day. In July, the guy took Lily to rest. She did not have a passport, so they spent a magical ten days in Sochi. 
Jack introduced his beloved to university friends. They are often a cheerful company. We went swimming and barbecued in nature. It was the brightest, most carefree and unforgettable summer in Lily's life. She had never experienced such unbridled happiness again. Lovers. They already started talking about a wedding, but in the fall, all the rosy plans for the future collapsed overnight. One day, Jack's cousin saw her brother on the street in the company of a modestly dressed strangers. From that moment on, Lily's life turned into hell. <laughs> 